What's up coach? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to stay ahead with your marketing in 2021 and in the future. Now, over the past couple of years, I've had emails go out every week. I've had videos being posted. Uh, I've had sales appointments uh, be generated. Um, all of those things can happen when I'm not actively working. So for example, while I'm shooting this video right now, um, there's a lot of people on different websites that I have that are watching different application videos that are applying to work with me. Now that wasn't set up um, with, with the intention of me having to do videos every day to drive people there uh, or me have to do like cold emails or any of that sort of stuff. I wanted to set things up very particular. So this way, once the marketing is done, the marketing will, will be sent out to the various channels that I have and that will draw in leads and those leads some of those leads will become customers. Some of those leads will stay on my email list and continue to uh, get information about our products or services. Now, the way that I have stayed ahead of that is the exact same way I want to uh, teach you right now. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to have one day out of the month where you block everything off and that is your day uh, if you are the person that's doing videos or if you're writing newsletters or if you're updating your social media, that's the day that you block off time and you create all of the things that are going to be scheduled that month or for the next two months. And when you do that, now you don't have to worry about posting all of the time because you've already gotten the work out of the way. And what you want to do is get it done and then schedule it. It's the same way with email marketing. My top clients right now that are in our uh, consulting program, what they do is they, they script everything out. They write out what their emails are going to be. Those go out, those get scheduled to go out so they can go on vacation and emails are going out. They could be at sessions and emails are going out. It doesn't matter what they're doing when the emails are going out. They're not sitting in front of the computer on those days where you know it could be a Tuesday in the morning they're like oh I need to send an email today that never happens uh, with the coaches I'm talking about they are very very organized so you need to have one day out of the month that becomes your creative day where you have everything done you do it so it's either again you film it or you're writing um, and that gets finished, it gets scheduled, and it goes out on set days, set times. This way you have a regimen. And a good example, if you've ever listened to my podcast, right? My podcast, now we have, I mean, I, I need to go back and count. I think it's close to 300 episodes. I've been doing a podcast since 2015. Um, podcasts have changed a lot, but essentially what I do is I sit in front of this computer, and I'll record like a year's worth of those podcasts. And then I will just go upload them and schedule them. And that way I don't have to touch it. It's gonna go, it's gonna go on without me at that point, right? And that's, that's why if you have like one or two days out of the month where you do that, nothing that you need to worry about, right? You can always stay on task. You can always have your marketing message go out and you can do that by just having that single day of focus. Now that's number one. Number two is it's, it's impossible to do any of that sort of stuff unless you know the landscape of the year. So what I like to do is I like to look at 12 months and I say, all right, during these 12 months, when am I going to promote certain things for my business? And I go month by month and like throughout the year, think about your business, there's a lot of holidays for, uh, you know, kids that go to school. Um, there's a lot of dead points during the year that you could run camps and clinics. If you know that before the year begins, then you can calculate, well, when am I going to promote certain things? Very easy, all right? And if you just break that into month by month, then you already know what to promote before you get to each month. And that's why I would have like a promotions calendar 
um, that says like January, I'm gonna promote this, February, I'm gonna promote this and do that for each month. And then that way, when you get to each month, you already know what you're promoting. You don't even need to think about it. And then your emails or your videos can be based around that thing, right? And again, that gives you all the information you need to effectively go promote something, right? So that's very, very key is having the uh, promotional calendar set. And you can just easily do that by printing off the calendar year, circle dates and say, this is gonna be the day I run President's Day Clinic. This is gonna be the day I run the July 4th camp I'm running. Like whatever it is you're gonna be doing, it's all out there, it's all scripted, and there's zero guesswork, all right? The next thing, and this is, you know, this has nothing to do with strategy. This has everything to do with you. It's, you just have to be very disciplined, all right? So for example, right now, I have my phone here. My phone is off and no one can get to me during this time. So this is my time where I'm shooting this video, right? And I can shoot multiple, multiple videos in a two or three hour time block because there's zero distractions. So on your end, you have to be very disciplined when you do this type of work because it's very easy to start something and then get off track if there is a distraction. And all you have to do is literally just tell yourself, all right, there's gonna be 12 days this year, one day per month over a 12 month cycle that I'm gonna carve out multiple hours of time. No one can get to me during that time. And I'm going to finish this type of work. And what I will tell you is the last thing, the coaches who are the most consistent with their marketing are always the most successful, right? I'll say that one more time. The coaches who are the most consistent with their marketing are always the most successful, right? I could take someone who is, you know, doesn't have a big following. They're not, uh, very well known in their area. And over a 12 month cycle, if they follow that plan that we're talking about, they'll get way more clients, they'll have way more authority, uh, and they're going to end up being more consistent to whoever, to whoever the market leader is in their area, right? And this is why it has nothing to do with how big or how smart a company is right now. You just have to be disciplined and you have to carve out the time. If you do that, your business is going to do a lot better, right? And one resource that I would recommend, right, is Kajabi. If you don't know what that is, go down to uh, my resources link. It's right under this video. Uh, you can get a trial there. That will automate and schedule all of your emails. That will set up your website to where you could create the application process that I was talking about at the beginning of this video. So you can go check that out. Uh, you get a free 14 day trial and I give you some special bonuses if you go through our link. And uh, that's it for today's video. I hope this helps. This should help you be, you know, get really organized uh, heading into the new year. And uh, I know it works because it's exactly what I do. It's worked very well for me. It's worked very well for a lot of coaches that we've been able to help uh, over the last five years with their business. So that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you soon.